With the continued progress of scientific endeavors, the application of advanced mathematics has become integral in many fields. Because of this, it is paramount to find faster ways in which to compute complex mathematical equations such as algorithms. In the field of graph theory, where graphs are used to illustrate intricate mathematical structures, algorithms are commonly and repetitively used. That is why, even what at first glance will seem like a minuscule shortening of the time it takes to complete them, can, in the long run, be of great benefit. One of the first scientists to make inroads on this field was Sir William Rowan Hamilton, who in the 19th century came up with what is now called a Hamiltonian path. Hamiltonian path is a way to walk along the edges of this graph, along the arcs of this graph, and, and visit every node one time exactly. In certain cases, we may be interested in uh, uh, finding a path uh, in, uh, in, in a network or in a graph, a Hamiltonian path, and uh, design an algorithm for this problem. And when we are studying algorithms, what uh, we are interested in is to measure or count the number of steps that the algorithm takes in order to complete the task. For this problem, since the 60s, there was an algorithm that took approximately uh, 2 to the n steps, where n is the number of nodes in the graph. Research uh, in algorithms, uh, researchers in algorithms have been trying to improve uh, the running times or complexity for problems, for empty hard problems. And uh, for, for many of these problems there has been no progress, absolutely no progress. Hamiltonian path problem was one of these problems for which there was no progress for, for 50 or 60 years. And not only that, but uh, the, the, the running time, the number of steps, uh, the 2 to the n is a very natural function that shows up in, in these problems very often, it's 2 to the n. So you just look at it and you think, you know, probably that's the best we can do. And uh, because nobody was able to do it better and why, why me or why us? In 2008, Professor Ioannis Kodis was one of those trying to find a faster way to solve Hamiltonian path algorithms while he was a doctoral student at Carnegie Mellon University in Pennsylvania. I worked on the problem uh, by myself mostly uh, when I was a graduate student. I was lucky to have next door uh, Ryan Williams, who is, uh, who is uh, a very important computer scientist. Uh, and then um, even the two of us combined together, we weren't able to, to come up with a better algorithm for the famous Hamiltonian, Hamiltonian path problem. Sometimes progress uh, is, is, is very difficult just by having these two algorithms and uh, not being able to improve upon uh, either, may make you think that it is actually impossible to come up with any better algorithm. So it's a, it's a, it's a huge psychological bri barrier to, to go and look beyond that. Uh, and so it's very important, it was a breakthrough when Andreas Björkland actually came up with, uh, with an improvement. So he used our, uh, our techniques but also contributed uh, very nice new ideas in, in the framework. And he was able to break this, uh, this complexity barrier, but also, very importantly, the psychological barrier, showing that uh, things that we sometimes don't believe are possible, they are indeed possible in computation. Uh, later on, his, his techniques, now the three te techniques combined, his ideas as well, uh, did yield even, even more improvements in, in, in uh, algorithms, in parameterized and exact algorithms. The combined work of Cody's, Williams, and Birkland has not only shortened the time necessary to find Hamiltonian paths, but has also contributed in the application of these type of graph visualizations in fields as varied as biomedicine and social networking.